you're going to hear is a very scary story. I don't expect you to believe it. I wouldn't have. It happened in this house, which is where I live, with a family called the Monroes. It's kind of a nice place to live, and, well, oh, I, I guess I ought to introduce myself. The name's Harold. That's me there, trying to catch some sleep. And, and that's Chester, doing what Chester's usually doing, reading a book. Mr. Monroe, that's him on the left, is a scientist. Mrs. Monroe takes care of Toby, Pete, and Chester and me. But on the day all this started, she was more worried about her husband. It's all those accidents they've been having at the plant. So many mysterious things have been happening there. A lot of folks around here even think the plant is haunted. Haunted? Well, now, I never believed in ghosts myself. Still, here at the World Co. Food Processing Plant, something was very wrong. We're going to have to work on that freeze-dried vegetable program. Monroe, check with research about the latest developments they have. Look out! This accident was too close, Monroe. The boss was determined that this, the ninth accident, would be the last. He decided to close the plant. But you can't, Mr. Newton. Everyone in this town depends on this plant for their income. Without jobs, they'll just... That support rope was chewed through, Monroe. Now, I don't know if it's ghosts or what's causing these accidents. But as of now, the World Coal Food Processing Plant is closed. When we got there to drive Mr. Monroe home, all the plant workers were going home for keeps. Without that plant functioning, it's the end of this town. Hey, Mom, Pop, look what we found. Toby and Pete had found a shoebox in some tall weeds. And in it was a rabbit. Just a cute, fuzzy little bunny rabbit, fast asleep. Oh, isn't he cute? Kitty, kitty, cool, little bunny. Hey, there's a note in here. It's written in some sort of foreign language. Look, I'll bet you that's the bunny's name. Funicula. You know, like Dracula. I want to suck your blood. Well, maybe they couldn't read the note, but I could. There's a lot of Russian wool found in my veins. It said, take good care of my baby. Can we take him home and feed him, Dad? I don't know if we'll even be able to feed ourselves with a plant closing, but I suppose so. There was a full moon that night. The little rabbit slept all the way to the store where Mrs. Monroe selected some vegetables for him. Is the rabbit still asleep? He's not asleep. He's gone. Hey, Mom, the rabbit got away. A rabbit? Loose in my store? Hurry, catch him. Don't worry. Harold will catch him. Come on, we'll look up this aisle. We looked all over for that little rabbit until I found him on top of bin of tomatoes. At least I thought I did. How he got over there, I'll never know. But good tracker that I am, I went after him. Hey, dog, get off those pumpkins. They're not safe. That's the trouble with humans. They always tell you things too late. What you kids have done. That dog of yours, I'll. I'll. I really needed this tonight, too. Look, Harold found Vanicula. Good boy. Are you okay, little bunny? Let's get him home. He looks scared. I just hope the man isn't too angry about what we did to his store. Mr. Monroe had to pay for 51 pumpkins, which didn't please him a whole lot. I'm so glad to see customers leave in my whole life. Sir, I just came across some of these in the bins. I never saw a white tomato before. Neither have I. It's like all the juice was just drained out of it. I wonder what could have caused this. We didn't know about the tomatoes then. 
When we got home, there were more important matters to discuss. I'm keeping the bunny in my room. I found Benicula. He sleeps in my room. You can keep smelly old Harold in your room. At least I don't wear the same socks for three days in a row. We'll keep the rabbit in here. That way, neither of you will have it in your room. We'll leave Benicula on this table. Benicula, it sounds like Dracula. <laughs> Tell me again about the note. Tell me again. We found it with the rabbit. It was in Romanian, and it said... Romanian? <gasps> Romania is where Transylvania is, and Transylvania is where Dracula is from. It's all in this book I read. Oh, come on, Chester. He couldn't have anything to do with Dracula. Besides, Dracula was a vampire. Uh-huh. There is dirt in the bottom of that box. And I read that vampires always line their coffins with dirt from their home country. I read books. I know. I know. Let's go to sleep. Chester. Coming, coming. I slept soundly all night. Chester didn't. In fact, you've no idea what he tried to get me to believe the next morning. I saw him, Harold. He rose out of the shoebox and snuck into the kitchen. The rabbit snuck into the kitchen? And I heard the refrigerator door open and close. I did, I did. You must have seen Mr. Monroe sneaking a midnight snack. Not unless he wears bunny pajamas and gets very tiny at night. Everybody, come in here. I found this in the refrigerator. It's a tomato. But it's all white. And there's no juice left in it. No juice in it. Like someone went into the refrigerator last night and sucked it all out. Like a vampire. There are no such things as vampires. Especially vampire rabbits. Are you sure? Gee, I hope so. In the days that followed, more and more white tomatoes turned up. And it wasn't just tomatoes, either. There were white carrots and white lettuce and cucumbers, too, all drained of every drop of juice. After a few days, they started turning up all over the block. Meanwhile, Chester got more and more suspicious. Hold still, hold still! I know the book I want is up here. I examined one of the white tomatoes, and I found teeth marks on the skin. One large tooth, perhaps like a rabbit's buck teeth. Tails in my nose! I got a... Don't worry, Harold. I'm okay. And I found the book I wanted. Thrilling. Wait, Harold, wait. This book tells all about vampires. I don't want to hear any more about vampires. Everyone is upset about the plant closing. Some of them think it was haunted by some sort of demon. Hank, down the street, claims he saw a wolf stalking through the plant. Now they're upset about white tomatoes. Folks are talking about moving away, like this whole town is haunted. Around 10 that evening, we all turned in, all except Chester, that is. Night, Harold. Harold! Come here! Mm. 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 The rabbit sleeps all day. So do you. So do I. And he has long pointed teeth like a vampire has. Well, so do you. And so do I. But the note written in Romanian. The stalking at night to appease his thirst. The dirt in the shoebox. The stories of demons at the plant where he was found. That is a vampire rabbit. Okay, I'll prove to you how silly that is. Tonight, we'll keep an eye on him. We'll stay awake in shifts and see if he leaves that box. He's a vampire, like Dracula. Welcome to my laboratory. Blah, blah, blah. 
the vampire turns into a bat and stalks his prey. Then when he fights it, he attacks. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got enough problems with the plant closing and all the weird vegetables. Now I got a crazy cat on my hands. It was two hours past my bedtime. But there I was, standing guard on a sleeping rabbit. Okay, your turn to sleep, my turn to watch. What's that I smell? It smells like... Garlic. It is garlic. It says in that book I read that garlic keeps vampires away. You keep that stuff on, and you'll keep everyone away. Phew. Wake me in three hours. While I was dozing, Chester got a bit too engrossed in his reading. across the yard. Unfortunately, Chester found it, or rather his tail did. I told you, Alice, I told you those booby traps I set would catch the poacher in the garden. And you'll wake up the whole neighborhood. Now we'll find who's been turning our vegetables right. Within minutes, practically the whole neighborhood was out there. This tomato has turned white, and there are rabbit tracks around it. The only rabbit in town is the one at the Monroe's. Yeah, Benicula, the one whose name sounds like Dracula. Dracula? Dracula. Hey, it makes sense. Those tomatoes were drained of juice like Dracula drains a victim. Hey, wait, listen. Dracula can turn himself into a bat, right? Maybe he can turn himself into any sort of rodent. Everyone, everyone, remember that wolf I said I saw at the plant before they closed it? Well, Dracula can turn himself into a wolf, right? That rabbit at the Monroe's has something to do with this. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get that vampire rabbit. We'll make them hand it over. The neighbors all thought little Benicula was the cause of the white vegetables and the cause of the accidents that closed the plant. We got there seconds before the mob. Benicula was asleep in his shoebox, as if he'd never left. What do we do? Monroe, open up! It's Hank from down the street! Open the door! We get Benicula out of here. That's what we do. That rabbit of yours is a vampire. He's been turning all our vegetables white. And he caused all those disasters at the food processing plant. Yeah. Hank, what would you do if someone woke you up at one in the morning to tell you there was a vampire rabbit in your house? Well, I guess I'd think they went bananas. Bingo. Hey, there's the rabbit. The dog and cat have him. After them! Where do we get our hands on that rabbit? Either I'm having a terrible nightmare, or there's an angry mob out there stalking a vampire rabbit. The area around our neighborhood is surrounded by dense thick forest, which is where we fled with Vernicula. We figured that mob wouldn't follow us in here. They went this way with the rabbit. Come on! We were wrong. We went this way, across the stream. Come on. I sure wish I could sleep like that. Quick, into this old drain pipe. Well, the least you could do is wake up. It's your life we're trying to save. Our only hope is to head deeper into this pipe and see if there's another way out. 
neither of us liked the idea of crawling through this dark, smelly pipeline. Well, look who's awake. At last! Don't fret, little fella. You're gonna be all right. I figured we'd all be all right. What I didn't figure on was where that drain pipe was gonna lead. This must be the basement of the food processing plant. And we aren't the only ones who've come through this pipe, either. These footprints are wet and recent. I didn't tell Chester, but I had a hunch who had made those footprints we found. Okay, the coast is clear. No sign of them. Them? Who's them? <laughs> There's no them here. There's just us, isn't there? I'm afraid not. <laughs> and if I smell... What I think I smell, I know what caused all the accidents that closed this plant. What? <clears throat> them! They're cold wolves. Let's get out of here. <laughs> And they don't say anything about wolves harming cats. I better do some extra reading. <laughs> Sorry, Smiley. Not this time. <laughs> Uh-oh. I spoke too soon. This is no time to get talkative. Nice wolf, nice wolf. Mustn't chomp the kitty cat. The wolves are coming. Quick, into that closet. Where's the rabbit? I thought you had him. Bernicula's out there. With the wolves. One little rabbit against three snarling, hungry wolves. Hardly seems fair. We were locked in the closet, and I still have no idea what went on outside that door. And to think I thought he was a vampire. Chester, listen. That's an alarm. Someone, I don't know who, had unlocked that door. When we looked out, all three wolves were trapped in a vat with a lid on it. And as for Bernicula, he was right where we left him. What happened out here? There's a perfectly logical explanation for this. And I wish I knew what it was. The alarm brought the police. They took the wolves to a zoo and took us to the police station. It was morning before we finally got home. The wolves will be well fed at the zoo. Apparently, they were sneaking into the plant at night in search of food. Then the wolves chewed through the rope and caused the other accidents. Does that mean they're going to reopen the plant, Dad? They sure are. Everyone goes back to work Monday morning. Our town is saved. None of this explains the white tomatoes. No, but I think I know what does. This bag has been sitting here for almost two weeks. It's a head of lettuce, but it's all moldy and wilted. Those are the vegetables we bought the night we found Benicula. 
That's right. And since that night, has either of you bothered to feed Bunicula? I thought you were going to feed him. Why should I feed him? You found him. You were both responsible. If you're going to have pets, you have to take care of them. The poor bunny was probably so hungry, he left his box in search of vegetable juices for nourishment. But why just the juice? Because he's just a baby. Well, that explains the white tomatoes. They'll feed him regularly, so he won't have to go roaming at night. He looks so cute there. Imagine, I actually thought this was a vampire. You and the neighbors all got carried away. Vampire rabbits. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ridiculous.